So in addition to this six-point plan, continued strategic investments in infrastructure, particularly transportation and technology, will be critical to our future economic health. The county this year will take several actions to advance the streetcar system planned for Crystal City and Columbia Pike. This board, along with the Fairfax County Board, has voted multiple times since 2006 to add streetcars to meet our growing needs along the Pike, which is already the most heavily traveled bus corridor in Northern Virginia. In recent years, questions have arisen and there is a more organized effort to derail the streetcar. I would like to take a moment to reiterate why I continue to believe the streetcar is the best option for the corridor from Skyline to Pentagon City to Potomac Yard. First, the community planning process has been extensive and inclusive starting in 1998 with the effort to create the Columbia Pike Revitalization Plan. Transportation and land use planning have been integrated at every step. Such a thorough, broad-based decision-making process should not be easily disrespected or reversed. Second, the number of transit riders needs the number of transit riders needs and we expect to more than double to 38,000 a day by 2035. The streetcar ensures the capacity to move these people. Third, fixed rail attracts choice riders, those who would not ride a bus, and it also opens up more of Arlington to tourists. Fourth, fixed rail incentivizes economic development. The county's 2012 return on investment study found that the streetcar would generate additional tax revenues between $290 million and $530 million over a 30-year period, meeting or exceeding the streetcar's estimated capital cost. Overall, I believe the streetcar not only fulfills our commitment to the Columbia Pike Corridor, but also bolsters Arlington's economic sustainability into the future. Also, let me correct um, what I believe are two common misperceptions. First, that bus rapid transit, or BRT, is possible on Columbia Pike. This is not true, as BRT requires a dedicated lane, at least for a major portion of the route. Second, that funds used to construct the streetcar system could be shifted to other capital needs like schools. This is not true, as the streetcar will be built with dedicated transportation funds ineligible for other uses. For those who want to learn more, check the county website there is gobs of information there on the streetcar plan, the FAQs, and the history. It's also telling that in 2013, New Orleans and Salt Lake City opened streetcar lines, and 10 other cities around the country have streetcar projects under construction, with four due to come online this year, including our neighbor, the District of Columbia, which will launch their initial 22-mile streetcar system this year. As a cyclist, switching...